Hey everyone, this is Kelly Kahoot with CatScrappiness.com. Today I'm going to do a quick little demo on the Cat Scrappiness double stitch dies. There are six dies in each set, and as you can see here, there's a cut line on each die and embossed stitching lines on either side. They come in rectangles, circles, ovals, and squares. I have some pre-cut cardstock and I cut it to five and a half by four and a quarter. And this was cut using the largest die in the set. You can see there it gives you a tiny frame with that stitched edge and the center has the stitched edge also. This is a top folding A2 card base and as you can see there the inside of that die layers on the card base perfectly. This is the next size down, the frame, and then the center. And each center is about a quarter of an inch step down from one another. It makes layering so easy. And again, you could either use the frame on your designs or choose not to use your frame. So these dies kind of do double duty. I think it would be awesome to use these larger frame sizes to stamp around the edges and then use the inside for your sentiment. Here is the whole set layered together. I'm going to get rid of that card base so you can see what all the sizes are. Another thing you can do is run these through your die machine all together. I just layered my cardstock over the top of my taped dies and I got an awesome set of frames. You could cut these in all different colors and do a set of cards with a nice little sentiment in the middle. These would make an awesome set of thank you cards. Another thing I did was take all my dies off of that, I layered them all together and taped them down with washi tape to line them all up. I used my little rubber embossing mats and ran it through my die machine. Follow the directions on your die machine on how to emboss with your dies. As you can see there, it leaves the impression on your paper, but it doesn't have any cut lines. You just are left with this awesome texture. Another thing these dies are awesome for are shaker cards. I use the circles to make this happy birthday shaker card. So you can use them for the background of your shaker and also for the frames that go on the top. So again, there are six dies in each set. There are rectangles, circles, ovals, and squares. And the options with these dies are endless. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Kelly Kahoot, and I'm here for catscrappiness.com. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.